The video you are about to see will provide you with the instruction you need to carry out a military funeral in accordance with a new law. This law produced one of the most important changes ever made to the Department of Defense policy on military funeral honors. In the National Defense Authorization Act for fiscal year 2000, Congress has mandated that for the fall bears, please follow the family to the hearse. Upon a request of the next of kin, all eligible veterans must receive honors when they pass on. Present. At a minimum, honors will be provided by a two-person uniform military detail with a lead member from the parent service of the deceased. In compliance with this new law, a veteran's military funeral must include a ceremonial folding and presentation of the flag and the sounding of taps. We'll demonstrate how to render appropriate and dignified honors to our departed veterans, whether the provider is active duty, reserve, National Guard, or members of veterans or other approved organizations. Funerals involving both casketed and inurned or cremated remains will be described separately. The funeral detail will consist of two uniformed military personnel, with at least one a member of the service of the deceased veteran who will lead the detail and present the flag to the next of kin. This service representative will ensure all the requirements for a dignified ceremony are met. The honors detail, in addition to the mandatory two-person team, may be augmented by a mix of personnel from all of the armed services and members of veterans or other approved organizations who were trained by the military for rendering funeral honors. Upon notification of the honors tasking, the service representative has a number of pre-interment responsibilities. He or she will contact the funeral director to confirm the date, time, and location of the interment service. The service representative will coordinate with the second member of the detail Additionally, he or she will coordinate with, if available, members of veterans and other approved organizations for added elements of honor such as a firing party. The services will have trained with these organizations if they are providing additional elements. Training should include positioning, timing, safety, and proper funeral honors protocol. The service representative will check for the availability of a locally approved bugler. If a bugler is not available, a CD player will be used to sound taps. 
the CD player is the responsibility of the service representative. He or she should have backup batteries available to prevent any embarrassing situations. Once the service representative has everything coordinated, his or her final pre interment activity is to train and rehearse the detail. Oh. Good afternoon. How's everybody How are you doing today? You all set? Yes, sir. Any questions? Yes, sir. Okay, we should be on time in about an hour or so. Let's go up and take a look at the grave and see if there's anything we've got to worry about up here. On the day of the funeral, the service here. representative has a number of actions that must be accomplished to ensure an appropriate and dignified service. The service representative will confirm the arrangements with the funeral director. He or she will work out with the funeral director a cue for the service representative to move to the head of the grave for the sounding of taps. The funeral director will also be advised of their responsibility to direct the mourners to rise before and be seated after taps. And the folding of the flag. The service representative will confirm the participation of the second detail member and ensure the CD player and TAPS CD are transported to the interment site. The service representative should arrive early to make certain all the elements of the honor ceremony are ready and to rehearse. Part of the rehearsal time should include the selection of an appropriate location for either the bugler or the CD player used to sound TAPS. The service representative will set up and test the CD player, ensuring the unit is working properly as well as identifying the person responsible for starting the CD. Following the civilian service, the order of the ceremony is the sounding of taps, the folding of the flag, and then the presentation of the flag. If there is a firing party, the volleys are fired before the playing of taps. Once everything is prepared, the service representative will ensure each step in the ceremony is executed properly, from the arrival of the funeral cortege to its departure. Upon completion of the ceremony, the service representative will ensure that all the pertinent information about the military funeral honors operation has been collected and later submitted via the data collection website. Now we will illustrate the two different variations of the honor ceremony based on the type of remains. 